Hello everybody. This is Ever Elizabeth of Wood, Wood Education Black 43. I welcome you to my channel. Hello. <laughs> well, what I'm going to talk about is really a sad story. And it happened yesterday. At 11.43, 11 the Galby Elementary School classes second, third, and fourth grade. Nineteen of them has been shot down, killed, and a couple of teachers. They make it twenty-one. Now, my question is, where is the security in that school? That's what I was wondering. If they do have security in that school, and it's a breach of security. How did this young man, 18 years of age, who just graduated or is still in high school, how did he get in without anyone knowing and start shooting? Barricading the doors to the classrooms and shooting these innocent little children. How can he do it? He has no remorse. He has no feeling. He doesn't feel for the kids. He feel for himself. Now, these shootings keep continuing in places where there are crowds. Tops Mar Market in Buffalo. Their store is is um it's a target because of racing racism. Someone hates the African Americans and the Asians, so they go right in there and they shoot a whole lot of people in there. Now the school is called a Rob Rob. Yeah, Rob Elementary School. I I wish that somebody in DC will get off their can and take some action in shutting these people down. Get off their <clears throat> butts. Congress, the Senate and the House, get off your butt. Do something about it. Don't just talk about stopping gun violence. Do something about it. Don't just sit there and go like this and... It's not, it's not getting anywhere. Get out there. Get out there and get these people off the street that has these assault weapons on them to go shoot a number of people for no reason whatsoever. What joy do they get out of shooting people and killing them? What joy? They don't get any joy. I am sad. These little innocent children, 10, 11, 16, 70 year olds, that's second grade, third grade, and fourth grade at that school in Texas. 
and two keychains. What is it? Are they Caucasian? Are they Asian? Are they African American? Are they Mexican? I think it's, I think mostly Mexicans go to that school because they're near a border, near the border of Mexico. I don't know what to, to say. We talk about guns in D.C. many of the times, and they talk about making new rules of using the guns. We talk about taking the guns away. We talk about all sorts of things in D.C. Where does it get us? Tell me. Nowhere. Nowhere. It get us nowhere. Talk is going to stop these people from shooting other people to kill them. What for? What is the reason? What motivates them to come forward with an assault gun and to shoot a number of people in the crowd and killing them. I I can't understand people sometimes. And this is no need for. It's not called for. It's not called for. This is not what America is. I feel sad for the parents that lost their children in that shooting. But what can we do about it? We got to, I think the, the psychologists, I think we need a course in, in picking out people who have a potential uh, way of have maybe anger or hate or, or resentment towards somebody towards a group of people. They got, we, we're all not trained to be psychologists. We're all not trained to be psychologists. And we're, if we could just listen to people, and if it doesn't sound like that they're in the right mind, I would question it. I would, I would call 911 if it got to the point where this person's going to threaten you and, and shoot you if you have time to call 911. But this is all I got to say. I am sad. My sympathy goes to the family of 21 students and teachers, the two teachers. This is this is a very devastating, very troubling thing that happened to all of us. And prayers goes out to all of them who had their children killed in this massacre. So I thank you for watching and subscribe, like, and hit that bell and share. And more videos like this one will be uploaded. Thank you very much for watching.